In addition to finding that the ex-employee had suffered damages arising from dismissal by Imperial subsidiary Associated Motor Holdings, Mr. Lombardi was found to have impaired the dignity of the ex-employee during a conversation on April 15, 2015. Mr. Lombardi has apologized unreservedly for any unintended hurt, Imperial said its board has further resolved to implement corrective action to address deficiencies in Imperial's gender and race relations culture highlighted in the judgment bearing in mind that substantial progress in gender and racial transformation, earlier this month, in a letter Lombardi submitted to Public Enterprises Minister Praveen Gordon to resign as an ESCOM director, he maintained that, while mistakes were made and there are important lessons to be learned, there were no findings in the judgment of race or gender discrimination against AMH, Imperial or myself. Despite this there has been a mainstream and social media frenzy of generally inaccurate commentary. This is being fueled by a political agenda and legally incorrect interpretations of the judgment, which have culminated in the most vitriolic defamation of my person, in an email to Imperial staff in early April, Lombardi said his reference to Chowin, an experienced chartered accountant, as a female employment equity candidate was not intended to demean her. My statement, intended to indicate attentiveness to the Employment Equity Act and society's expectations of business was not malicious or meant to hurt or demean her in any way and I regret and apologize for any hardship that it caused, he said. Chowan brought the court application against Lombardi last year after she was fired in September 2015 over allegations of misconduct. She was summarily suspended and investigated after she laid a grievance over Lombardi's comments. The North Gouting High Court found Chowan to be a credible witness who gave reliable evidence about how she was sidelined from being appointed as company CFO, despite promises made to her by Lombardi. Judge Pete Meyer found Chowan's belief that she had suffered racial and gender discrimination was justified based on the facts before the court. The court also found that Chowan proved that she suffered damages as a result of Lombardi and AMH's conduct. Chowan said Lombardi's comments made her feel like the only reason she'd been employed within the Imperial Group was because she was an equity employment employee. She testified that she'd never been spoken to like this before, and was particularly humiliated because she was addressed in this way in front of other senior managers, I had built my career. I had been a CFO. I had acted as a CEO. All those achievements were not being recognized, apart from the fact that I was now being objectified in terms of being a female employment equity candidate, she testified, business live in time.